Hey everyone, this is Accounting Nightmare. I'm doing a quick video to show you how to do some editing of your MP4 or MKV videos without losing any quality. So you can get rid of uh, break times and startup times and stuff for your streams or for your other videos. All right. So I'll be using a program called AVI Demux. And uh, let's take a look. I'm gonna play around with today's stream actually. So this is my VOD from today. Just mute that. We played Ori in the Blind Forest. So I always have like this little startup time at the start. I want to get rid of that before I upload it to YouTube. And sometimes I have a break somewhere in the middle. I didn't this stream, but I can still show you how to get rid of that kind of stuff. All right. So here's AVI Demux. You get it from avidmux.org. Right, so here's the site. Here we go, go to downloads. And here's the Windows one. Go for whatever you need. Okay, it's a very simple little lightweight tool. I know it's called AVI Demux, but it works for MP4s and stuff, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, so here's my these are my VODs from uh from OBS. Alright, so this is today's VOD. Alright, so I'm just gonna drag it into AVI Demux. Then it opens up. Sometimes it takes a while to open, especially depending on how big the file is and uh, your probably depends on your RAM as well and your read speed. I'll just skip over this part. Alright, there we go, it's open. If clicking and dragging doesn't work, you can always use the uh, open video button here. Alright, so now you should be able to, this little bar, we should be able to move this back and forward to scroll through the video. That should be working fine, and it is, so that's good. All right, so you can see this is the part we want to get rid of. The stream is starting soon. Okay, so these buttons here, let's have a look at them. Move this window. Yeah, so play. I mean, that just plays it. It's obvious. Uh, you, you can hover over things to see what they are. Go to previous frame, go to next frame. These ones aren't really, you don't really want to care about these. Because we want these ones. Go to previous keyframe and go to next keyframe. So when you're working with videos like this, you want to cut on keyframes. That's because, well, it's, there's a lot of detail in how it, how it all works. But we're, um, it's easiest to slice videos on keyframes unless you're doing a full re-encode. That's not what we want to do. We do not want to fully re-encode this video. It's already been encoded, that will take ages to re-encode it, it will lose quality if we do that. So this is how we can get around having to do that, and we can keep the original quality that it was in. Alright, so this skips back and forth by keyframes. It depends on what your recording settings are, as to how much time that is. You can see it's about two seconds here, because that's what I had it set in OBS. Yeah, so we can skip back and forth by two seconds. You can't, you can't really edit on a precise frame, because I mean, you can if you want, that will cause some weirdness, so um, I recommend going for keyframes. All right, so this is the first keyframe that doesn't have my stream starting soon thing. All right, so this is where I want to start the video. So we're going to cut off all the rest of this stuff up over here. All right, these two buttons, these are very pretty important. Set start marker and set end marker. So these are this is basically setting a selection of video, and then you can just hit the delete key to get rid of it. So... This part I'm on, this one, I want this to be the end of the selection, and that's all going to be the start. So the start marker will automatically be at the start, so all I have to do is click set end marker. You can see all that is selected. Now I hit the delete key on my keyboard, and it's gone. And there we go, easy. Easy as that. You can see how it, work, how it looks, or sounds. Hey everyone, welcome to the stream. Yeah, that seems fine. You can check out the end of the video, see if I want to get rid of anything from there. And I'll see you all next time. See yous! No, that ended pretty quickly. So if I sat there for like 10 seconds after I clicked end video, I might want to get rid of that. But yeah, that, that was fine. So that's kind of all I need to do. Okay, so these settings here. Uh, this one you shouldn't need to touch that, don't worry about that. Video output. Leave that on copy, and audio output. Leave that on copy. That means it's it's not re-encoding. It's not losing any quality. 
Now output format, this is where you want to pick if it's going to be an MKV or an MP4. It doesn't matter either way. I pick MP4 because it just seems to run more smoothly. But it really shouldn't matter. They should both be compatible with YouTube. I'll go MP4. It doesn't really matter. All right. Now we hit save video. And now we choose where we want it to be. Put it in my streams. Okay, so that was the other one. So there's a file name, 23rd part 3, and enter. And you'll see it won't take very long to save. That's because, it's, as I said, it's not re-encoding. It's kind of just copying the data that's already there, minus that little selection we, we chopped out. That's why this, go, this is uh, pretty quick. If this takes like hours, then something has gone wrong. It's probably re-encoding. One of these settings is probably wrong. Yeah, you see it's uh, pretty much about finished already. And it's done. Okay. I'll have to leave this open until I check the file just to make sure it's okay, because if it's not, I might want to just do a few changes here. So let's go check that file. Go streams. Down here. And there it is. Hey everyone, welcome to... And there you go. Now we're there. Didn't it that I'm... Now I can upload that to YouTube and it doesn't have the uh, little stream starting soon bumper. And it really is as simple as that. Alright, so let, let's do another one. One that has a break in the middle that we want to get rid of. Okay, so these Ace Attorney ones. These ones have break times in them I want to get rid of. I'm just trying to pick one out that isn't too spoilery for those who are currently watching those. Alright, so fire up AVI Demux. Click and drag. Do that several times if this little window doesn't pop up. And now we just wait for it to open. This might take a while because this is a longer video, 3 hours 45 minutes, so give it some time. Okay, and that's open now, so we should be able to scroll through. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so here's our little intro thing I want to get rid of. So we're trying to find the uh, the point where that stops. Now we're trying to find a more precise point. Again, use the these these two arrows, the keyframe ones, not these two. These two aren't what you want. If we decide to cut on just a, a random frame, let's see, end selection, and hit delete, we'll get this. Uh, yeah, we'll get this little warning. The end point of the deletion is not on a keyframe. Video saved in copy mode will be corrupted at this point. Yeah, so it gives you a warning that you shouldn't be doing that. It's not a big deal. It can just cause some real weirdness depending on like what player you're what you're using to watch this video. So best just avoided. All right, so we use these arrows to find the actual point we want to get near. There we go. Use these arrows to figure out where you want to cut the video. Okay, so we'll do it there. Set end marker and press the delete key. And there we go. And again, the uh, the start marker always starts off at the start of the video by default. And actually, the end marker starts off at the end of the video by default. So if you want to cut something off from the end, then you just go somewhere here and you go like that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see how that cut went. Let's have a look. Hey, everyone. Welcome to this. Seems fine. All right. Okay, so... Here we go. Here we have a break time I want to get rid of. All right, let's see what this looks like. Play. Okay, so I'll cut it from like around here. So we just pick a keyframe. I'll, I'll just go with that one. Let's see, set start marker. Click. This is the start of the section we want to delete. Scroll through, see if we can find the ends. Nero's jamming away. He's having fun. Now we want to get a bit more precise here. Again, use these arrows, not these ones. I'll just keep clicking. Oh, yeah, there we go. So I'll get rid of it around here. So we, we see him dancing for a few seconds. All right, set end marker. And now we press the delete key. All right. So let's see what that looks like. All right, I'll leave you with some music. And I shall be back.
And there we go. I've just removed like five to ten minutes of uh, nothing in my video. <laughs> Isn't that good? So yeah. Um, so this is like pretty quick and dirty editing, but it means like we're not losing quality. That's that's why you can't be super precise with like MP4 and MKV files. All right. So once again, we check video output is on copy, audio output is on copy, and output format. Uh, you can go M again. You can go MKV if you want. I like going MP4 though because that seems to just be easier to open. There we go. Save. And I'll call this one test because I don't actually need this one. I can delete it afterwards. Enter. And again, it shouldn't take very long. Maybe a couple minutes, depending on your uh, your drive speeds and your space. All right, successfully saved. Okay, let's go check out that file. Streams. Go down the bottom. Test.mp4. Hey everyone. Very good. And yeah, the break time should be gone. We're going to find that spot. Let's see, where is that spot? Around here. Yeah, this is where the break was that we removed. We play the English translations of Investigate to make sure I further. Hang on. There we go, there's the break time. And I shall be back. There you go. It's all done. We can put that file on YouTube and it saves our viewers some time. Very cool. So it's pretty easy to do. Again, you don't lose quality doing it this way as long as you have these settings to copy and copy. That way it doesn't actually have to like re-encode everything and lose tons of data. So yeah, this is a, a really convenient way of doing things. It's, it's not very uh, flashy. You can't really do any special effects or special screen transitions or anything doing this but it's very good quality. All right, so I hope that helped you all out and I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching.